All right, you guys, this is the meat on meat burger that started it all for me, the Yo Burger. The thing that makes this thing pop, the thing that makes it really special, is this beautiful Wisconsin Fontina cheese. It's just such a beautiful Italian style Fontina. There was always the bacon cheeseburger, stuff like that. What we did is we took fried salami and used it in the place of bacon. But the thing that really puts this burger over the top is the Wisconsin Fontina cheese. Now, Fontina cheese is a great cheese because it's mild, it's earthy, it's soft, it melts so great on a burger. And this is an Italian style Fontina, absolutely delicious. So. When I'm making my burger, I get, you know, about six to eight ounce patty. You don't want to overwork the burger. You just want to gently press it down. Just let it kind of come together. I grind the meat twice, coarse ground. I use brisket, short rib, and sirloin, so I have about 25% fat in the burger. We're gonna put this rich, creamy cheese on there, but you still need fat in the burger to have flavor. Salt it liberally, pepper it other side. There you go right on top. I'm gonna let it char for about four minutes, three, four minutes aside. Hear the sizzle, you know you're ready to go. Let the grill do the work. If you're cooking it in a pan, you let the pan do the work. If you start squashing your burger, you're gonna squash all the juice down into the grill. We don't need to do that. So, burger's on. Take my English muffin, lightly pulled apart, just like that. Now, an English muffin is a great vehicle for a burger because it has all those nooks and crannies in there, and the nooks and crannies gather the juice. So that goes down. We have cucumber. It's nice, thin slices. It's going to give our burger some crunch, a little bit of freshness. I have some house-made red onion pickles. These are great. Classic pickling recipe, a little bit of vinegar, sugar, garlic, peppercorns for the spice. Now there's three styles of Fontina cheese. There's Italian, Swedish, and Danish. We're gonna use the Italian style. The Italian style's the most mild and creamy and buttery of the bunch. The Danish and the Swedish tend to be a little more on the tart side. They maybe they age them a little bit longer, but even when they age them, it's still a relatively mild cheese. When I'm putting cheese on a burger, I am not shy. I like to load it up, let that cheese melt down. It adds a richness to the burger. Just adds another layer of flavor to the dish. Has a nice earthiness to it, a nice creaminess to it. Melts great, perfect topper for my Italian themed burger. The yo. Let's give it a flip. See, that's what I'm looking for. Nice grill, nice char marks. It's gonna give it a little bit more flavor. When I flip it, I drop on the cheese. Double cheese, please. Wisconsin cheeses have taken American cheeses to the next level. And in my opinion, Wisconsin cheeses have surpassed most of the cheeses that come in from Europe. Two, three minutes, it's gonna melt and drip all down the sides, and it's just gonna be absolutely delicious. Now we gotta get everything else, build the rest of the burger. We have our toasted English muffin here, some spicy homemade ketchup. So I take a teaspoon of this, I put it on the bottom of my English muffin. Pickled onions go down. Some of our cucumbers. Look at this, fried salami. You know, I love salami. Fresh, I like it fried, but in this case, I really want to kind of imitate bacon. I want to get that crispy, crunchy niceness in the burger. All right, look at this. Cheese is melted. You can see it running down the side of the burger. And this is the great thing about Fontina. It's great for a good burger because of the way it melts. Give my little salami a crunch. Pop on the lid. Burger's almost as high as my head. Cut it in half. Oh, look at this. Just layers of flavor. You can see the cheese melting down the side. You have the cucumbers in there, the onions. Oh, spicy ketchup, the salami. Mm. This is a three napkin, double fisted hamburger. This is what it's all about. That earthy cheese, the rich meat, the crunch of the salami. Doesn't get any better than this.